back to my channel. Hello, if you're new here, I'm Daphne, or if it's your first time coming across my channel, please do subscribe, stick around. And if you've been with me from the time when I started YouTube, I genuinely appreciate you. I failed to do this thing. In today's video, it's a get ready with me. I'm going for an event, so I decided to film a get ready with me, but also QA. I did put up a sticker on my Instagram and asked to send me some questions, which you did. I answered them when I was getting ready. I did a very subtle glam slash everyday makeup look or the no makeup look as some people call it if you're interested in seeing how i achieved this look i know i look like i'm not even wearing makeup but i am if you're interested in seeing how i achieved the no makeup look please do keep on watching i don't know if this happens to other people as well sometimes okay back then when i still had like a lot of time every time i do my makeup when i'm not going anywhere i'm just like playing with makeup it will turn out so good but the times where i had to do my makeup to go somewhere terrible but let me not jinx this let me not jinx this so let me start off with my brows i'm gonna do my brows off camera because i'm not so good at eyebrows sometimes they come out sometimes they don't let's just do that very quickly let me do my brows off the camera and we'll get into the q a so brows are done i usually don't outline my eyebrows as much because i should be going for the no makeup look and we get some questions i put up a sticker I put up a stick on my Instagram and we do have some questions. I'm gonna try and answer most of them, though I actually realized as I was going through some of them, I realized most people were asking me about business, business, business. But I'm also happy. So let's get into the QA. But before we get into it, I'm gonna. I did my eyebrows, but I forgot to. Oh, this is a makeup I'm going to prime my face. I'm gonna use the. The Lazuri primer. I absolutely love it. It's very, very moisturizing. So I'm gonna start with the, someone said, "Hey, we miss her options." The business page. Okay, primer done. So let me tell you what happened. Right, I used to work online for about two and a half years. Um, I used to work at home. I used to literally travel, buy things, like. My bedroom was my station and then at a point I felt like I had a lot of things in my bedroom, in my living room, in my kitchen, in my corridor, everywhere. Like I had bags, jewelry everywhere. So I think it was just time for me to take the next step and get a shop. But after I got the shop, I think my page was reported or something like that because this is what sent me an email and they asked me to appeal. So when I did that, they send me another email and they're like, oh, unfortunately, the page has been deactivated for da 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 fraud. And I'm like, fraud? Okay. So I tried to open another page. It was deactivated. I opened another page. It was still put down. It has been very demotivating for me to like open another page because like, okay, what if I open this and it's also put down? Uh, so yeah, but I'm working on it. But I also think... And right now, I'm seeing so many pages that use her options, her options, her options. I don't even think I'll be able to get a username, but I'm working on it. Um, I really want to open another page. So I'm going to go in with the Bella Zuri foundation in the shade O2. Also, if anything, um, for the years that I've where's my beauty blender? For the years that I've done makeup, it has been very, very rare for me to find um, foundation that is my exact shade. But this is literally my shade, my exact shade. I'm happy that I don't have to always mix two shades of foundation to find the perfect shade for me. I'll blend it like a little bit. Okay, um, there is a question that said, how do you, how do you get to maintain on your skin? So this is something that I usually post, especially when I'm like in the gym, even though I've kind of like fallen off, I haven't been going to the gym. I've been super busy. But uh, consistency, consistency. Also, if someone knows where I can buy consistency, I'm willing to pay because I think it's one of like the hardest things to do. It is extremely hard to remain consistent, and it's not even just with the gym. Even posting your business, doing this, doing that. It's it's just so hard. So for me, it's like sometimes I'm like you know what this is. This is what I want. I'm gonna try and do my best to make sure I get this out of this, if that makes sense. Like, I try to push myself. I try to um, be as consistent as I possibly can, but I also try to take breaks. If I'm not in the mood to do something, then I'm not going to do it. Sometimes, of course, I'll push myself to get out of my comfort zone, but it's also very important to take a break because 
an artist real also the more you do something and you're like not interested in it of course it does get boring having the same routine all the time can get extremely exhausting i genuinely do love this foundation it's extremely lightweight and does a good coverage so if you're in a place that is very very humid or very hot this is absolutely the go-to foundation it's also very moisturizing I like the fact that it doesn't leave my face dry i have very dry skin there's a brand that i used i would literally see my skin peel like around here this is extremely moisturizing so when you put the primer on the foundation someone sent me a question and it's, no this is not a question someone just told me i want to buy all your old outfits that you no longer need in your closet i do have so many clothes that i no longer wear and sometimes it's just one of those where maybe you've gone for an event customize an outfit or maybe photo shoot but you'll just never wear it again but i'm not very open to selling my old clothes i do give them away but I don't think I can like, ever sell them for reasons withheld. And yeah, that's it. And this person said, I wanna start my own accessories business, I think they meant. I wanna start my own accessories, but still studying, can you give me tips, please? To be honest, like, starting a business is very hard. It is very, very hard. And before you start, you have to find a niche. I am glad you already know what you want to do, which is accessories. Oops. And the good thing is you already know what you want to do, which is accessories. And the fact that you're even still in school, it is a very big advantage. And the thing is with business, all businesses or anything really, once you start, sometimes you're not going to have everything figured out. You're going to make a lot of mistakes, certain things you're going to learn on the way. You need to be very patient with yourself. Give yourself some grace. Because when you start, sometimes things are not going to go as planned. The first year is usually very horrible, I would lie and with you the fact that you're still in school you could maybe start by buying a few pieces selling them to maybe your classmates open an instagram page post the things on your whatsapp wear your items one thing that i always tell people if you sell something and you can wear it and market it yourself why don't you do that i think it's like the easiest way to sell things because even when I'm at the shop, the people who will come like, I want the necklace you have on, I want the earrings you have on, I want the bracelets you have on. So it is as simple as wearing the things that you're selling, take pictures, post every day. Okay, you don't really have to post every day. I think I post my bills every day, but it's also because I have grown into it. It's now part of like my routine. Even when, okay, the times when I wake up and I don't want to post anything, like I just want to stay in bed or maybe just do something different, but you gotta stay on your zoom so like i said you need to be able to take a break you need to be able to give yourself grace but just start you'll figure it out just start do your thing make research see what other people are doing and before you know it you will be super proud of yourself okay so this person asked me um hi how's business life do you regret losing friends um to be honest i don't think i do regret losing friends and the way i've fallen out with people is actually very funny and very weird because sometimes you will have friends and maybe you don't get to see them you don't get to speak to them as much and before you know it you're not friends anymore like it's almost like you outgrow each other because maybe you have different values um you have different schedules you have you know what they say about out of sight out of mind in most cases if you don't see people you don't even get to think about them so you realize sometimes you're gonna to have to like drop the friendship it's sometimes it's one-sided you're calling this person they never called you maybe you try to check up on this person they never check up on you but for me that's not the issue like if i know i'm good with this person if i know the basis of our friendship um i'm not the type that will be angry because someone hasn't called to check up on me or someone hasn't come to see me or because when you grow up life gets so busy i mean things just get so i can't even explain it but i can't say i regret losing friends i've lost quite a number of friends the people where we used to be close but we're not close anymore but if i meet them like we're still good i can still say hi to you i can um sit down and have a drink with you but then there are also people where you've fallen out and when you meet you literally pass this side the person's passing the other side like you pass each other like you've never even met so those are the weird things but also i don't regret it because by the time i fall out with someone and i know the reason as to why we fell out if i was wrong i'll definitely try to reach out and maybe apologize and see how we can rekindle the friendship but if you're moving mad adios female friendships can be exhausting sometimes 
Ooh, this dress is so nice. I was saying, female friendships can be very exhausting sometimes. There are people who get mad because you didn't post them on their birthday, or maybe you didn't buy them a gift, or you didn't invite them somewhere. Like, it's just a lot, and I get it, our gender is just too dramatic, but mm -mm, sometimes it's too much. Next question is, what did you study at uni? What did you study at uni, and why aren't you practicing it? So I did tours and travel, I was actually employed for about two years that was before covid and then i lost my job okay, i didn't lose my job but by the time everything got back to normal i had kind of like moved on that is when i had started her options i was working at a travel agency called Briam. it's a town i used to do reservations and air ticketing visas and all that stuff but covid hit and i we stopped working i think two months before the actual lockdown so that time i didn't have a job i didn't have nothing right people had stopped flying out of the country no one was traveling so of course we had to like take a break of work till we thought maybe things were gonna go back to normal in like a few months and before we knew it boom lockdown and even when things got stable after the actual lockdown people were still not traveling as much but at that time i had actually started her options i'm very very thankful that things happened for me really well during that time so i didn't feel the need to go back to my job i just like continued from there and yeah that is why i'm not practicing what i started there's two people who ask me what's your tribe and the other asked me what tribe are you i'm a muganda i don't know why most people don't believe that but yes i am i'm called nachuko kayondo um nedida mkologoma <laughs> Well, my dad was a Muganda and my mom was from Rwanda, so maybe that is why most people think I belong to Rwanda. But I've also grown up more on my mom's side of the family, so I think I practice the other culture more than my actual culture. But I belong to both, so yeah. Let me tell you guys a very weird story, right? In 2015, I just joined Senior 5, so I went to a new school, of course, and this one time, the teacher found me talking during night prep. If you've been to Ugandan boarding school, you know it's like the real, yeah, it's like the real, yeah. So this guy found me talking to my friend during night prep. And at that time, I think it was like week one, there wasn't really nothing much for us to do. Like, I don't know if he expected me to be reading like two pages or something. I came to my friend during night prep and he found me. He said, I think he had been standing by the window watching everything that we were doing, like talking, chatting, laughing. He was like, hmm, okay. So he comes in and then he's like, excuse me, um, what's your name? I tell him I'm called Daphne Kayondo Najoko. And he's like, sorry, what? I'm like, I'm called Daphne Kayondo Najoko. And then he's like, do you know you've been talking almost half of this night prep? I've been by the window watching everything that you've been doing and you've been speaking to your friend the whole time. He's just exaggerated. It's not like I'd been talking to this person for like hours. I think it had been like maybe five minutes or 10, but whatever. So when he asks me for my name, I tell him the name and he's like, oh, just because you think you're a newcomer, you're going to lie to me, put a name, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling him, why would I lie about my name? That is my name. This guy made me kneel for two hours because he was waiting for my class teacher so he can confirm if I'm actually called Najuko. And I'm like, make that make sense. So when my class teacher comes, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I actually thought you was... I remember the name that he used was... Um, I thought she was like an Arinda, a Tokunda. By the way, teachers are bullies. Let me tell you, teachers are bullies. Next, I'm gonna use this concealer. It's also from Bella Zuri. This is shade 01. I like my under eyes, my T-zone, my nose. Too much. I'm gonna go in with this darker shade of concealer in the shade 05 to just outline my cheekbones. What's the easiest way to get through friendship breakups? Uh, 
I feel like I'm the wrong person to be asked this because I don't even think I have the right answer to this because to be honest, I've never had like a bad my gosh. like a very bad friendship breakup. And most people say friendship breakups actually hurt more than boyfriend girlfriend breakups. But I've honestly never experienced such a bad friendship breakup, so I don't think I really have the right answer to that. All the people that I stopped talking to, it's either we outgrew each other or we just like stopped talking. I've never been in a situation where the friendship breakup is like directly me and another person, if that makes sense. So I really don't know. Like I don't know if you're wrong and you want to rekindle the friendship. Try and apologize if the other person is in wrong and you feel like you still want to rekindle another friendship maybe you can reach out to them and tell them hey this is what is going on and this is what happened and this is how i feel but sometimes it's also very important to because like i said women are so dramatic sometimes you actually do something to your friend and you won't even be willing to apologize for it so i I don't know. I don't know, baby. Oh, I really don't know what to tell you, girl. I don't know. I don't know how people deal with friendship breakups, but sometimes you outgrow people, and sometimes you just have to move on. Like these people are not glued into your life, so yeah. But I hope you get through it. I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette. It is also from Bellazuri. Like the fact that it has most of the shades that I usually use. I don't usually wear eyeshadow, but when I do, I usually go in for such shades, the very neutral shades. I'm gonna use the shade Passion just to add a bit of highlight to my inner corners. Someone asked me, how is your day like as a CEO? You know one funny thing? I think I find it so weird when people call me CEO. I I don't even know how I can explain it, but I genuinely find it weird. But my normal day, so I'm not a morning person. I only wake up very early if I must wake up very early. But I usually get up at around eight. My my battery is out. Oh. Jesus. Oh, come on. Okay, one of my lights has run out of battery, but the show must go on, so I hope this is still good enough. Oh, yeah. Um, I was still answering the question. Around, I usually wake up at around 8 because I'm not a morning person at all. Get ready. I also hate the fact that I drag so much when I'm getting ready. But I'm usually at the show by like 10, 30, 11, especially because we do open at 10. We open a bit late because that's just how the building is. It's a bit chewed out in the morning. So we open at 10. Speaking of. Hello? Part of my day is cold, cold, cold. Um, I just received a call from the shop. But anyway, so I get to the shop at around 10, 30 to 11 then. Yeah, take pictures, post. I do post on my socials almost every day, I think, every day. Um, but I mainly use Snapchat. I don't have an Instagram page anymore, so it's Snapchat, WhatsApp, and TikTok. But TikTok and WhatsApp are run by my system, so for me, it's mainly Snapchat. I do, I do have other things that I do in between the day. Sometimes I go to the gym after work, but it's been like three weeks since I last went to the gym. My channel must be thinking, maybe I broke a leg or something. But yeah, um, Hobson's takes a lot of my time. That is literally what my day is like. Posting, taking pictures, responding to clients. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'm not complaining. I definitely love it. Sometimes it does get exhausting, but you gotta stay on your Zoom. You gotta do what you gotta do. Like I said, I feel like most of the questions are about work, business, blah, blah, blah. But the next question is, how do you handle both personal life and work plus content creation all at once? If I start, like even now, when I woke up today, I had to go to the shop, take pictures, post. Whew. They won't leave me alone. Hello? What just happened? Yeah, that is how I'm trying to find balance. So basically, right now, of course, I'm shooting this video, but my phone is ringing because maybe they're clients at the shop that want this and that, and then she has to like first confirm with me, then 
it's a lot it's trying to find balance and i hope i can find balance because my shop is very demanding extremely demanding sometimes i have to travel go by stock um on top of that i still have to do content creation also still trying to find balance i hope i can find it one day I'm taking each day as it comes doing what i can what i can do i let it go and that is how i'm balancing for now there's so many questions related to business. Do I like portraying business businesswoman? Because there are so many. I think 90% of the questions are actually business related. But let me just pick a few more. Someone asked me, hey D, what are the benefits and challenges you've experienced as a business owner in Uganda? But there's also like a question kind of similar to that, which is what are the challenges you face in your business and how do you overcome them? And the other person asked, what has been your hardest experience in your entrepreneurial journey? Well, not my camera battery running out as well. I'm going through it. So basically, of course, just like any other business or any other job, there's always going to be the pros and cons. There's always going to be challenges and you do need time to like understand how the business operates, um, how you're going to solve this problem. Because now before, when I just started options, the thing that disturbed me the most was taxes. I didn't know how to overcome tax. I didn't know how to price my items properly. And it was such a thing I went through a lot for me to figure that out. It's the first time I actually had to pay tax. If I go back to that story, Whew, I suffered. It was a lot for me. I did. I had zero knowledge. I had no money. I had, but yeah, we thank God for that. And of course, experience is the best teacher. Also, one weird thing that I experienced at the shop, I have one challenge. So sometimes I get to meet people. Like people come to buy things at my shop, and maybe I'll see them outside the shop, and I won't remember them. And then there's some that I see, and I'm like, have I seen this person before? Have I not seen them before? So maybe when you don't greet them, they'll be like, oh, she's such a show off. I bought things from her, but when she finds me, it's not the shop. She can't even say hi to me. So it's it's such I don't know. I don't know if I'm just in my head. It's something that disturbs me a lot because I don't want to meet my clients and I'm not even able to recognize them or I'm not able to say hi to them. Sometimes I genuinely don't remember. So I'm sorry if this has happened to you, but it's something that is disturbing me and I don't know how to even overcome that. I really don't know. I hope you guys understand. I'm also like facing the whole Instagram challenge now. All the pages I'm opening are being taken down. I don't know how to overcome that. I'm still trying to find a way to get my Instagram back. I'm still trying to find a way to maybe open another page and it's not put down. So th there's just a lot. Every other day there's like new challenge. The thing is when it comes to products and pricing and all those things, of course I'm like on the other side of town and then there's people that sell things downtown but one problem that Ugandans have okay not all because there's some who understand you expect to you want to come to a place like Cementi of course the rent is different everything is different right you want to have an item that is one good quality two um, not too priced maybe oh it's actually cheap you want something of good quality you want it cheap you want to have the convenience of uh, maybe no traffic or like over congested. Maybe you live and walk into somebody's salon and it has like AC, they're giving you drinks. Like, um, I don't want to say this is like everyone. Give an example of like earrings. I just saw Buzz and Jerry, so my examples are going to be around there. Um, you want to enter my shop and you're asking me if it's real gold or if the bag is original or. Um, maybe it will not fit but you want to pay ten thousand shillings for original gold or you want to pay like fifty thousand for a very good leather bag and i'm like make that make sense make it make sense how do you want original gold at ten thousand shillings mind you ten thousand shillings is not even five dollars so it's like when i'm choosing items i do try to and on top of that they want something that is not common. I don't want to find these earrings downtown. I don't want to find this bag downtown. And I'm like, okay, how am I supposed to do this? How, how am I supposed to give you original gold at 10,000? How am I supposed to give you an original LV bag at 100,000? How am I supposed to give you genuine leather at 50,000? Like, when you find it, let me know. It's such a big challenge that people don't actually understand. I don't know if they just lack knowledge on such things but it sometimes it actually annoys me because people will enter the shop and they're like oh these earrings are 30,000 
is it original gold and i'm like excuse me like did you say original gold like you want original gold at that price so it's such a thing that i'm trying to deal with and of course it does take a lot of patience for you to understand the client and actually explain to them and tell them hey this is like this and this and this but i've also reached a point in my life where i'm like you know what those who know know because there is no way i'm gonna buy a ticket to pay for a hotel da -da 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 -da, only for me to come back and sell to you earrings at five thousand like are you even thinking of the right as well like be for real let's be for real sometimes but anyway um nonetheless i do appreciate each and everyone that has supported my business in any way it's been a good three years now i get new clients every day some do not come back but yeah good i'm not complaining so yeah business is hard business is very hard every day is a different experience every day is a different lesson you just have to take every day as it comes um also it takes a lot of patience i feel like if anything i'm on like a whole different level of patience when it comes to handling and managing clients because girl it's not easy this is an interesting question someone asked me hey beautiful what's something you wish you knew earlier about life I feel like there's so many things I wish I knew earlier but I also don't regret because sometimes if you don't go through certain things then you would not know how to handle things later in life. I feel like in the past I've been such a people pleaser. I felt the need to always make other people happy at my cost. Um, I think also the need to say no before I, I never wanted to say no to people but now I'm going to say no to you without even thinking about it. You have to choose yourself and sometimes you have to live very selfishly because I'm going to go in with this shade glowing just so I can add a bit of um, to shine to my eyes. I'm gonna go in with this Bellazuri mascara. I think it's one of my favorite products from Bellazuri. I love what it does with my lower lash line. Like it combs my lashes out so so well. It, it defines my lower lash line so well and I don't even have to apply so much product. You see that? This mascara is like the real thing. You need to grab it now. So we're almost done. I'm gonna do my lips and that'll be it. But let me ask another question. Mm. Oh, oh, someone asked me, How has life been since you're not passing? Well, this is a very sensitive topic, I've actually never talked about it on my YouTube. But life has been ooh, where do I start from? It's, it's been really tough adjusting to not having her around. But I mean, you know what they say about God giving his toughest battles? Yeah, God giving his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. I feel like God cannot give you a weight you can't carry. Of course, I feel like sometimes it's a weight I cannot carry. But I didn't even know how strong it was until that happened. It takes a bit of healing. The times where you wake up and um, you feel like maybe you're on a journey of healing. Last layer, I'm gonna go in with this shade. Is one. It does have like a purple shimmerish kind of situation going on. And lastly, of course, we do have the setting spray to put everything together. Whew. So let's let that dry. I'm still answering as we let the spray dry. Um, to be honest, losing a parent is so hard. It is extremely hard. But you take every day as it comes. Some days you feel like you've healed, other days you feel like the whole world is literally shutting down because. Of course, there are times when I'm like happy or maybe I've achieved something. And like, I want to be able to call her. I want to be able to tell her, hey, this is where I'm at. Like, good things are happening for me. And then the times when you're like extremely sad and you just feel like this is the only person you want to talk to because they understand you better than any other person. But it, it's very hard. In two years now, I'm still trying to heal. Sometimes I do breakdown. But 
like I said, God has been amazing. I was already in a place where I can take care of myself, um, do things by my own. I used to rely on her for a lot of things and now she's not there. And of course, this is something you cannot reverse. You just have to... I don't even know if I've answered the question correctly because I don't know what to say. I feel like I'm still now. Um, yeah. And we're done. So I went in for a very subtle makeup look. I went in for very soft glam. I went in for the natural makeup look, the everyday makeup look. Almost like I'm not wearing makeup, but I'm wearing makeup. That is the look that I was going in for. And all the products will be listed in the description below. All the products are from Belazuri, who also happens to be the sponsor of today's video. So, so thank you to Belazuri for sponsoring today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've come this far, thank you so much. I hope to see you guys in my next one.